Imagine standing under the vast night sky, looking at the stars twinkling in the distance. We often think of our solar system as a peaceful, well-ordered collection of planets and celestial bodies revolving around the sun, a predictable cosmic dance that has lasted for billions of years. But what if I told you that the formation and structure of our solar system might not be as orderly as it seems? What if the very layout of the planets, moons, and other distant objects we observe today was influenced by a cosmic event so extraordinary, so unexpected, that it's still being studied by scientists today? Recent groundbreaking discoveries suggest that billions of years ago, our solar system may have been visited by a passing star, an intruder in the cosmic sense, that came so close to our sun that it dramatically altered the course of history for our solar system. This celestial visitor could have caused a massive disturbance, not only reshaping the orbits of objects within our solar system but possibly even contributing to the formation of some of the planets themselves. It's an exciting, eye-opening concept that challenges everything we think we know about the birth of our solar system. In this exploration, we'll delve into the idea that a star passed close to our sun long ago, altering the trajectories of distant objects, affecting the planet's positions, and potentially even helping to shape the formation of the planets as we know them today. This theory is not only fascinating but may also provide new insight into the mysteries of our solar system that we've been puzzling over for centuries. At first glance, our solar system seems like a stable, predictable place. There are eight planets orbiting the Sun, with each one following a clearly defined path. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars sit close to the Sun, while the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, orbit farther out. Beyond Neptune lies a vast region known as the Kuiper Belt, populated with icy bodies and dwarf planets, such as Pluto. Farther still is the Oort Cloud, a massive, spherical cloud of icy bodies that is believed to be the source of many comets. We often think of these regions as distant, frozen corners of the solar system, far beyond the reach of the Sun's influence. But in reality, these areas are much more dynamic and mysterious than we previously realized. For example, scientists have discovered that many objects in the outer solar system, particularly in the Kuiper Belt and Oort Cloud, have strange, irregular orbits that don't fit the expected patterns. Instead of following the flat plane of the solar system like the planets, these objects follow highly tilted and elliptical paths that defy our understanding of how such objects should behave. So, what's behind these strange orbits? To answer this, researchers have proposed an intriguing new hypothesis, a passing star, or stellar flyby, that passed so close to our sun billions of years ago that it disrupted the orbits of distant objects in the Kuiper Belt and Oort Cloud, possibly even sending some of them hurtling inward toward the gas giants, where they were captured as moons. The idea that a single, close encounter with a star could have shaped the structure of our solar system is as dramatic as it is fascinating. It suggests that external forces, not just the sun's gravity, played a key role in the evolution of our solar system. The more we learn about the solar system's distant regions, the more we realize that they might hold the key to understanding not only our own solar system's formation but also the nature of other planetary systems in the galaxy. As we consider the possibility of a passing star's influence, let's look at some of the evidence that supports this theory. The most compelling evidence comes from the strange orbits of objects in the Kuiper Belt and Oort Cloud. These objects, which include comets, icy bodies, and dwarf planets, often follow highly eccentric orbits that are tilted relative to the plane of the solar system. Many of these objects seem to be moving in ways that don't fit the typical behavior of objects in the solar system. For example, the dwarf planet Sedna, discovered in 2003, follows a highly elliptical orbit that takes it very close to the Sun at certain points, yet it travels far beyond the orbit of Pluto at others. In addition to Sedna, other objects in the outer solar system, such as 2008 KV42 and 2011 KT19, have been observed to move in opposite directions to the planets, and their orbits are far more erratic than expected. These discoveries have left scientists scratching their heads, wondering why objects in the outer reaches of the solar system behave so unpredictably. It's as if these objects were disturbed by some external force, pushing them out of their expected paths. Enter Dr. Suzanne Fair and her team at the University of Leiden in the Netherlands. 
using cutting-edge simulations, they ran more than 3,000 virtual experiences to explore the possibility that a passing star could explain these irregular orbits. Their results were groundbreaking. They found that the gravitational influence of a star passing close to the Sun could indeed explain the odd, tilted, and erratic orbits of many of these distant objects. In their simulations, the researchers modeled a star with a mass roughly 0.8 times that of our Sun, passing through the outer solar system at an angle of around 70 degrees relative to the plane of the planets. The star's closest approach to the Sun was calculated to be about 16.5 billion kilometers, closer than the Voyager spacecraft are today. In these simulations, Fair and her team showed that such a flyby could have sent shockwaves through the outer solar system, scattering objects and altering their orbits in dramatic ways. Some objects would have been pushed outward into the farthest reaches of the solar system, while others could have been drawn inward, toward the gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn, where they may have been captured as moons. The idea that a passing star could have captured objects from the outer solar system and turned them into moons is particularly exciting. We already know that the gas giants, such as Jupiter and Saturn, have many moons, some of which are incredibly large and strange. Some of these moons, like Jupiter's retrograde moons, travel in the opposite direction to the planet's rotation, which is highly unusual. Typically, moons orbit their planets in the same direction as the planet's rotation, prograde orbits, but many of the moons of Jupiter and Saturn follow retrograde orbits, meaning they move in the opposite direction. The discovery of these retrograde moons has puzzled scientists for years. How could these moons have ended up in such strange orbits? One theory is that these retrograde moons were not originally part of the planets, they were captured by the gas giants from the outer solar system. This could be a direct consequence of the passing star's influence. The gravitational forces of the star could have sent some objects in the Kuiper belt or Oort cloud on a path that brought them too close to Jupiter or Saturn, where they were captured by the planet's gravity and became moons. This idea fits perfectly with the theory that a passing star could have disrupted the orbits of objects in the outer solar system, sending some of them inward and causing them to be captured as moons. But the star's influence didn't stop there. According to the simulations, the passing star could have had a profound effect on the mass distribution of the outer solar system. It's believed that the mass of the Kuiper belt, once thought to be a vast reservoir of material, was significantly reduced during the star's flyby. Some objects would have been sent into highly elliptical orbits that took them far beyond the Kuiper belt, while others would have been scattered throughout the solar system. This could explain why the Kuiper belt appears to be so sparsely populated today. The star's gravitational influence might have cleared out much of the material that once filled the outer solar system. This theory also provides a new explanation for the unusual characteristics of Neptune and Uranus. These two ice giants have similar sizes and compositions, but they differ from the other planets in our solar system in important ways. For example, Uranus is tipped on its side, with an axial tilt of about 98 degrees, making it the only planet in the solar system that rotates in a direction opposite to its orbital motion. Neptune, while not tilted as much, shares many similarities with Uranus. The stellar flyby hypothesis suggests that the passing star could have played a role in shaping the characteristics of these planets, perhaps nudging them into their current positions or even affecting their internal compositions. Another interesting aspect of the stellar flyby theory is its potential to explain the formation of the Oort cloud. The Oort cloud is a spherical region that surrounds our solar system, far beyond the Kuiper belt. It is believed to be the source of many comets, and its material is thought to be loosely bound to the Sun. The stellar flyby hypothesis suggests that the passing star could have disturbed the Oort cloud, causing some objects to be ejected from the solar system while others were pushed inward toward the Sun. What makes this theory even more intriguing is that the chances of such a close flyby happening are not as remote as one might think. The simulations carried out by Dr. Fair and her team suggest that the probability of a star passing close enough to our solar system to cause such disturbances is between 20% and 30%. While this may seem high, it highlights the fact that our solar system is not as isolated as we once thought. The universe is a dynamic, ever-changing place, and events like these may have happened more often than we realize. 
the implications of this theory extend far beyond our own solar system. If a passing star can have such a profound impact on a planetary system, could similar events have occurred in other star systems? How many other solar systems have been shaped by the gravitational forces of passing stars? And what does this mean for the search for life in the universe? Could other planets have been influenced by a similar event, altering their conditions and making them more hospitable to life? In conclusion, the idea that a passing star once disrupted our solar system is a captivating theory that opens up new possibilities for understanding the formation and evolution of planetary systems. It challenges the traditional view of solar system formation and raises questions about the forces that shape the cosmos. As we continue to study the outer reaches of our solar system and the stars that surround us, we may uncover even more surprising truths about the origins of our solar system and the universe itself. The story of our solar system is far from over, and the mysteries of space continue to unfold before us. Whether or not a passing star played a key role in shaping the solar system, the search for answers will undoubtedly lead to exciting new discoveries. Who knows what other secrets the universe holds? The journey to understanding our place in the cosmos has only just begun.